with the Charizard from 151 just kind of taking off like over the last few days, PSA 10 prices, as you guys can see right here, 650 sold. Somebody got to steal at 450 right here. Uh, 650, 680, 680. So around just under 700, like 650 to 700-ish. Uh, that got me thinking about what's the pop report on this card? Because I think uh, when it comes to PSA cards, sometimes the pop reports aren't always talked about. And what does that even mean? So we're going to look at a few cards. We'll look at pop reports and see if there's any information that we can kind of gain from the pop reports. But we're going to start off. This is the PSA pop report for the Charizard that we we're just looking at, the EX, the one uh, number 199. So if you're not familiar, this is PSA's website. You can look up the population report for any card. And if you aren't familiar with grading, uh, grading is where a third party looks at the card. They grade it 1 to 10, 10 being supposedly perfect. And then the population report, which is this number right here, uh, this is how many have been graded, just so you guys know. 22,000 of these Charizards have been graded. That's a lot to have been graded. The uh, pop report on a 10 is 8,500. And so there's way more nines. This is the nine uh, row right here, 10,000. So what we can gather from this um, is that there are lots of Charizards out there. A lot. And a lot have been graded. They are a little hard to grade. Uh, we'll see... When we get into the other population reports of some of the other cards, you guys will see that these numbers are going to be a little different. So, yeah, when uh, when you have a lot more nines than tens, um, and there's a decent number of eights, um, that shows that this card is a little hard to grade. Uh, but with still so many being graded, and eight eighty five hundred PSA ten copies in existence, uh, that's that's pretty wild. Um, we're gonna you'll see some other cards and we'll see kind of where things are at and we'll come back to the Charizard and kind of get a little bit of a like a judge on it but that's where we're at 8500 in existence that doesn't count like what's at PSA right now getting graded because um, I'm sure there's a lot uh, that have just been sent off with this recent spike so um, but then we have this is the Greninja this was um, one of the top dog cards from the new era in uh, PSA 10 it's come down a little bit we're seeing last holds here, 580, 560, 540. Don't know what happened with this. Somebody got a steal here, 285. <sighs> Anyways, we'll call it around 550-ish, right? Um, we'll look at the pop reports too, but this card is a lot harder to pull. We'll take a look. So the Greninja... 214 right here, SIR, Special Illustration Rare, um, 3,200 have been graded. So, but you can see 2,000 of those got a 10. So this card is much easier to grade, but there's not that many out there. there it's a lot harder to pull than the Charizard. Obviously, you have to consider when you're comparing the sets, like 151 is like kind of a unique anomaly as far as like, it's pretty much widely uh, loved and opened. So while there's probably a lot more 151 product that has been opened, so that you kind of have to take that into account. But you also have to think like Twilight. Twilight's done really well. It's got a, it got a lot of hype. Um, the box prices are really up there. Um, for a while, one uh, Twilight was getting ripped like crazy too. So uh, probably not as one, much as 151. So you kind of kind of have to like, and 151's been out longer right so these are things to consider but still uh, we know that the pull rates changed and the Greninja is very hard to pull uh, so yeah 3,000 graded 2,000 uh, in a 10 and the Charizard is currently selling for more in a 10 so that's that's just wild uh, to me it's the pop report sometimes the pop report matters and sometimes it doesn't the the market is the market will do what the market wants. Um, once st stuff start like selling out, FOMO happens. Um, it's you know, it's it's just a snowball effect. Um, now we're gonna take a look at the Charizard V. The viewers of the channel that have been around for a while, you know how much I love this card. So I had to give it its spotlight. We're gonna compare this to the the 151. Um, last solds we're seeing 284, 275. This one was high. That seems like an anomaly. Uh, 350 we'll call it around 280 280 ish um, the pop report on this card is very interesting so this is 18,000 graded in 10,000 tens so pretty decent 10 rate 
Um, but you guys saw, saw how cheap these are compared to the 151 Zard. So, yeah, 280 for a 10 when we were in the 600s for this one, right? So that itself is wild. We'll go, we'll jump back and forth between the pop reports real quick. 18,000 and 10,000. So 18,000 graded uh, to 10,000 tens versus the 151 has 22,000 and 8,000. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so there are, while there are more tens of this Charizard, the price, uh, and you know, it is more, right? But the price is so much lower. Um, this is a card like, so artwork wise, I personally like this one a lot more. Um, not that I don't like the Sun, the Sun Zard, but I, I like this one a lot better. I think this is personally the best artwork we've ever gotten for a Charizard. Um, but yeah, so, but popularity is taking into account like the set. So Brilliant Stars, not as popular of a set and 10,000 tens, which is a lot. Um, but remember that 10,000 tens, we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, but then we have the Umbreon from Evolving Skies. These are last solds. It's about 1300, pretty consistent. 1350, 1305, 1350, let's we'll call it 1300, uh, ish or 1325, whatever you want to call it. Um, remember that number, that 10,000 number. Okay. So this, it's been a while since I've checked on the Umbreons. Very high gem rate, 17 thousand of these cards have been submitted also keep in mind that this is about a thousand dollars raw and thirteen thousand have gotten tens so that's when i was talking about the pop the pop report that charizard the v the one i like over ten thousand tens this one has over thirteen thousand and this card selling for thirteen hundred so high pop reports don't always matter like sometimes it can matter um but when the market gets a hold of something and when something when people get obsessed um that's when things can really take off so uh it doesn't it doesn't really matter how many there are especially if it's anything hard to pull um but with as you know what's wild think about how many boxes and packs had to have been opened to pull 17,836 umbreons because that is insanely hard to pull i think tcg released the their pull rates um or evolving I want to say it was just under 2,000 pretty much like I think it was 1996 so pretty much 2,000 packs to pull the Umbreon on, on average so you guys do the math <laughs> um, then we have the Giratina which is another one of my uh, favorites from uh, Sword and Shield uh, alt arts um, pretty stoked I had to have this card in a PSA 10 but last sold as 700 to 670 to 625 so we'll call it like 650 ish um, yeah, so those are last holds on eBay. Take a look at the pop report here. Um, pop report, 11,000 graded, and about half of those, uh, just a little under half, I guess, 5,500 in a 10 uh, for the Giratina. So um, much lower pop, right? Um, and a very cool card, but um, set takes into account. The Pokemon popularity takes into account. These are all factors, um, like, just the coverage that the cards get um big youtubers pulling cards talking about cards like all of these affect like the market sentiment of these cards um we'll take a look at the gengar real quick which just had seems like a steal of a sale right here i don't know who bought this 500 bucks um so that seems like a outlier the other ones are around 680 660 650 we'll call it around 650 ish um for the gengar from fusion strike which we have pulled up right here twelve thousand graded 7510 so another pretty high uh 10 rate on the gengar but yeah 7500 um 4000 nines yeah um you know it's always funny when i see like one there's one one <laughs> um yeah so that's the gengar um so i don't know if you guys are seeing you know there's quite some variance on pop pop reports and stuff um We'll take a look at a lesser card. We're going to take a look at a, a more affordable card. This is the Giratina from uh, Crown Zenith, the Galarian Gallery. Uh, I think it's the most expensive card in Crown Zenith right now. I think it's around 90-something raw. Anyways, 215, 202, even a 179 on last solds right here um, for the Giratina. We'll pull up the pop report here. Um, another high, a pretty high gem rate as well. 
13,900 graded and 8,200 in a 10. So it, this one is where, one where you go, oh, that's kind of a high pop, easy to grade, and the price is sort of reflected um, because this is a stunning card that uh, when you see it in person, absolutely stunning. Um, so at the end of the day, what what can we gather from um, pop reports? Um, honestly, I, I think this is where this is kind of where I stand on the pop reports currently. If a card or Pokemon is insanely popular, the pop report doesn't matter. It really, it really doesn't. Um, it can overcome that. But something that I think is important to know for all of these cards, if you're grading or wanting to get for your collection, I think it's important for you to know the pop report, um, just so you can kind of know where your card, if you're trying to sell or keep for your collection, um, where it stands. I think that that is important information to know. Um, the Umbreon, like I said, I remember when the Umbreon was in the 10,000s, and now it's in the 13,000s, so that's just creeping up and up and up. So, important to know. It's it's information that is, um, like, kind of, not powerful, but it's good for you to have in your corner. Like I said, whether you're uh, collecting or investing or whatever you want to do, um, they are good numbers to know. Uh, you can't, you can't, um, you can't rely on them to mean anything because the market will make you look like a fool um, when you start to think that the pop reports matter um, too much. But one last thing to say on, on the pop report thing. Um, think about, think about this. This is, this is how I, you can think that the pop reports don't mean anything. Think about how many, think about Pokemon being the number one grossing franchise of all time ever over everything. Right. Um, then think about how many people are collecting. Then think about those numbers. Think about those PSA 10 numbers. Now, a lot of people don't even know about graded cards. So that is a factor. But when you think 13,000 Umbreons, think about how many collectors there are. How many collectors there are just in the US? It's, uh, so yeah, 13,000. Not that many tons, really, when you think about the broad, the broad number of collectors. Um, but that is going to do it for this one guys i just wanted to touch on pop reports um i think it's a it's a good tool to have to know to look them up like look them up and to know um but sometimes it doesn't mean anything and sometimes it can help you um especially sometimes if you're like one of the first people to grade a card um i know i've done with this with some sports cards it doesn't happen in pokemon as often with some sports cards i remember i graded stuff and i had a pop one uh, it was a pop one right it was the only one um because it was a numbered card out of like 16. Um, not super valuable, but I had the only one that was a 10, sold it, made some money. Um, so sometimes when you're like first to grade um, or you have, when the pop's low for popular Pokemon, then that's a factor too. But with modern, um, yeah, it just depends on the set and the print run and the quality and everything. But um, yeah, that's pop reports. Um, I don't. I try not to do too many videos on graded anything because they don't really do very well um but i think that this is useful information especially since we just touched on the charizard i just kind of wanted to like circle back to that a little bit um but yeah that is pop reports um hopefully this helped you guys um let me know what you guys think uh about pop reports if this was helpful or not i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase